My name is Glenn and welcome back to the Crypto Nest. I hope everybody's having a good day, a good evening, wherever you are. Uh, today was a pretty decent day for me. I uh, can't really complain. I started kind of early, got up at four o'clock in the morning, went out. I had to go to work today, you know, do the old grind. Uh, you know how that goes. Uh, haven't been able to get out of having to do that yet. Looking forward to it in the future, but at the moment I'm still working. Uh, having to work to, you know, pay the old bills, so is what it is. But uh, I went out and did my thing today, driving the truck, and uh, a little bit of an interesting day. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened, but Highway Patrol had a truck off on one of the exits up north of Las Vegas today. Uh, had the whole area shut down with a bunch of fire trucks, um, truck off on the side with some hazmat placards on it. Not really sure what was going on. Hope everybody was okay. Didn't see anybody hurt. Didn't see any ambulances. News was up there. Haven't had a chance to look at the news. Don't really follow the news, to be honest with you. You don't hear anything good in the news most of the time. Anyway, I stopped listen, watching mainstream media and mainstream news probably oh, 10, 15 years ago anyway uh, on a regular basis. So I catch a little bit here and there, but uh, for the most part, it doesn't really do me much good to, listen, to pay attention to it because most of what they're talking about is garbage anyway. Uh, so having said that, some of you may, uh, remember a gentleman by the name of, uh, John McAfee. He created McAfee's antivirus. Uh, he's actually kind of a, kind of an eccentric character in the Bitcoin world. Uh, he's running from the law, uh, running from... I think taxes. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But he's running from a bunch of different things. Apparently, the government wants to speak to him. Oh, yeah, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe it was taxes. I think he may, came out and made a comment that he hadn't paid taxes in many years or something to that extent. Um, I'll get further information on that to clarify. But uh, so he's been kind of on the run, bouncing around <laughs> place to place. Uh, he was in the Bahamas for a while, disappeared. He actually came out with a story yesterday that I was going to mention, and I didn't. I just went by it and forgot about it. But today there was a follow-up to it, so I figured I would I would go ahead and bring this up here. Uh, John McAfee, it turns out that if I can get the tab to open here. Uh, my tab's not opening. Sorry, guys. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Why is this? Not cooperating with me. Bear with me. Sorry about that. There we go. McAfee peeved after news outlet twists his words on Epstein. Everybody's heard all over the news about John, uh, about Jeffrey Epstein. There's nothing new about that. Uh, I'm sure everybody's aware of what I'm talking about. Well. John McAfee, being the eccentric character that he is, came out and released an Epstein didn't kill himself token on the McAfee Dex. For those of you that don't know, the McAfee Dex is a decentralized exchange, DEX, decentralized exchange uh, that McAfee runs uh, for Bitcoin trading, uh, for cryptocurrency trading. Uh, with a decentralized exchange, rather than putting your coins into a custodial wallet that the uh, exchange holds on to for you. You connect your wallet through um, through your computer, um, your hard, you know, like a hardware wallet, like a Ledger, uh, Ledger Nano or something, and you're able to transfer funds and do your trading through your, uh, through your Ledger. So John McAfee created a DEX and he actually released an Epstein didn't kill himself token. Uh, and he posted it out on Twitter. Uh, he feels that he's being represented in, multi, represented in multiple online news publications over the views on the high-profile high controversial death. First of all, uh, he created this coin. Uh, it says here that, let's see, uh, the coin is called WACT. <laughs> and it's to commemorate the fact that McAfee, in McAfee's opinion, Epstein didn't kill himself. The token has been released for free. doesn't cost anything. And it comes with a unique gimmick in that one in 10 transactions gets routed to a burn address or whacked. A burn address, for those that don't know or aren't familiar, 
is an address where once the money, once the crypto goes in, it never comes back out. It's essentially gone forever. Uh, the same as if you were to like burn a dollar bill, it could never be returned. Um, once the money goes or once the crypto goes into a burn address, it's essentially burned. It can never come be returned. It can never come back out. Um, it's programmed, the wallet is programmed in such a way to never release those funds. Um, so, so one in every 10 transactions gets whacked. Um, while this was clearly created as a message, it was hardly the only way McAfee signaled his view. He also took to Twitter to post a video in which he made his position very clear. Again, uh, McAfee is very live on Twitter. He, <laughs> anybody wants to follow him, here's his Twitter handle, official McAfee. Uh, he posed quite a bit of crazy stuff on there. He also came out with, um, made a statement that if he expects Bitcoin to be $1 million by the end of 2020 or 2021, I'll have to get the exact date, uh, one or the other, but he was stating that if he doesn't, he was, um, if Bitcoin doesn't hit a million dollars, he said that he would eat his own penis. Um, of course, there's been a lot of backlash on that. He's pulled back, been a lot of pullback on that. He has uh, then turned around and said that he may uh, uh, he may uh, contract the job out to uh, some hookers in in some foreign country somewhere. I mean, he just crazy, crazy character. But. Uh, I guess they've gone ahead and they've, he feels like they're twisting his words uh, and that the media just keeps feeding on itself. New York Post, John McAfee thinks Jeffrey Epstein was murdered. Nowhere did he ever say that Epstein was murdered. Um, he has never, that's never come out and said that in anything that I've seen. He simply created a coin called Epstein didn't, or a token called Epstein didn't kill himself. Uh, once again, another classic case of media twisting the words of somebody. Now, is John McAfee crazy? Maybe. Uh, is he ex a little eccentric? Definitely. Um, but whether or not they twisted his words here, I think from what the information I know, it pretty much to me looks like they have. I never heard him say anything in any of the articles that I saw or that I've read so far or uh, any of his videos. I've never heard him actually come out and state that. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, I stand corrected. So let me know, leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to you know, take a look at it. But to this point, I don't believe that he's ever said that. Uh, moving on, Brave Browser. For those of you who don't know, Brave Browser is a privacy browser. It's faster, uh, easier. Well, I don't know about easier, but it's faster than a lot of other browsers. Uh, I do believe that I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos. It blocks out uh, ad trackers and other things like that to help you speed up your uh, your browsing. Um, well, the good news is it also is on Android. They rolled out a uh, update for iOS users. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are probably be happy to hear that. Uh, they did an up update on the iOS app. And now brave brave users, wow, I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. Brave users on iOS can now check their bat rewards straight from their phone. Um, bat rewards is actually a really cool program. Um, if you download the Brave browser, which I will have a link down in the description in the description of the video for if you'd like to use, you don't have to. Uh, but Brave browser is a privacy browser. Um, it blocks a lot of ad trackers. It blocks a lot of advertisements. Uh, speeds up your uh, your your browsing. Uh, doesn't keep track of all the data. It's an open source project, so it doesn't keep track of all the data, uh, like you know Microsoft and report everywhere you go to everyone that they can possibly think of that might want to know what you're doing. Uh, so I really like Brave Browser. Um, I think it's a, a good browser. I use it all the time. In fact, I'm using it right here uh, online as we speak. This is what I am using. Um, but it comes with a really neat feature too, because within the Brave Browser, actually you can get paid 
just for browsing the internet. Uh, and the way that works is you can, once you appear this little triangle, uh, you can go in and it opens up a box like this. You can go into the settings and within the settings, uh, you can turn on Brave Rewards. And Brave Rewards, you get paid for watching ads. Now, other browsers, for example, YouTube. Uh, YouTube's notorious for it. If you go to watch a video on YouTube, the first thing that happens a lot of times is you see a video first. You have to watch an advertisement. You have to watch a video. Using Brave Browser, that doesn't happen. Um, instead, what Brave Browser does is down below in the lower right-hand corner uh, down here on the screen, there will pop up a box down here that uh, has a little bit of information uh, about a particular product or a service that they want you to read about or to know about. And if you choose to go ahead and click on that, it will then open up the page and you will receive BAT tokens in exchange for viewing the content, as opposed to places like Facebook who throw ads in your face who track every little thing you do based on what you like and what you don't like. They go ahead and have targeted ad campaigns to make sure that you see just the things that they want you to see, the things that they think are going to interest you the most, that they can make the most money off of, that their clients or their advertisers uh, can make the most money off of. Brave turns that all around. Instead of them getting all of the money, you actually get paid when you watch an advertisement. Um, there's a couple of websites that I go to. They tend to have banners across the top with advertisements across the top and banners down the side with advertisements down the side. And each one of those advertisements slows down your browsing speed because the website has to download that information uh, to display it for you before or, you know, in order for you to see the page. With Brave Browser, again, that doesn't happen. The advertisements are cut out. You only get the information on the page that you need to see. And I like that. It speeds up the browsing time quite a bit. In fact, here, I'll open up a new window here. And on the new tab, it'll show you right here. I have currently blocked 6,099 ads and trackers. Uh, 14 HTTPS upgrades. It has saved me approximately six minutes of browsing time by using the Brave Browser. And my Brave Rewards? My estimated reward so far this month is 4.2 bat or $1.09. $1 now, woohoo, I'm not getting rich, but I'm getting paid to watch an advertisement as opposed to them stealing my data and using my and then making money off of me selling my data to all kinds of other organizations and corporations and me not getting anything for it. So I like Brave Browser. Uh, I like the way it changes the game and turns things around. Um, I, like I said, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description down below. And the good news is iOS users now have the ability to be able to see their bat rewards uh, right through uh, their Brave browser on iOS. So, uh, again, as I said, I'll go ahead and leave my link down below. And if you do, by the way, I'm not 100% sure they're doing it. I, they were in the beginning. Uh, if you sign up using my link, they'll give you your first $5 worth of Brave tokens for free, if I'm not mistaken, just for signing up. Um, of course, they do contribute uh, to me as well if you use my link, and that will help support the channel. So I can hopefully get some better lights in here, get a better camera, uh, get a better microphone, and you know, be able to turn this channel into something that you guys will enjoy a whole lot more, uh, hopefully going forward in the future. Uh, that's my goal. I want to I, I want to help as many people as possible. And I want to get out there and build this channel and build this community. Uh, I had somebody from the community contact me today wanting help with a wallet. Of course, I went and helped. Uh, that's what I'm here for. So if anybody has any comments, you know, please leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than willing to try to help out if I can point you in the right direction. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. Uh, I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, please do not take anything here as financial advice. Um, do always do your own research. Any investments can be uh, dangerous 
and you do stand a chance of losing your money with any investment you make. Brave Browser, Bat Tokens, they're giving those to you. That's not going to cost you anything. But if you do decide to get involved with any of the markets and you do decide to buy into Bitcoin, just know that no matter what it is that you're getting into, there's always a risk that you could possibly lose your money. Always do your own research first. Uh, today, Bitcoin, as we speak, let me go ahead and refresh this here. Bitcoin today trading, at, looks like, oh, there we go. Uh, $8,748.88 as we speak with a market cap of $240 billion. Once again, just slightly up from yesterday. Um, we have a Bitcoin uh, dominance here at 65.6%, uh, which basically means that 65.6% of the money in the market has been put into Bitcoin as opposed to the other tokens. Um, I think that's going to do it for me for today. Everybody out there, be careful. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Hang in there. Don't give up. Uh, and uh, go get yourself some Brave Tokens. Have a good night. Thanks.